Good morning, guys. My face is so red. It is a very cold, very fresh Thursday morning. Um, I have just taken the dog out. See her on the mass of clothes. So today I am getting my parcel from Cricut. I have ordered a heat press, um, which I'm very, very, very excited for because I want to launch a couple of tote bags. So I have weighed up different options between, you know, um, pod, print on demand, um, and sort of doing it myself with HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl. So I'm going to test a couple of things. Obviously, print on demand is less work for me, um, a bit more of passive income, but I want to do really cute packages um, that are a bit more personalized. So this is the sample I got from Ink Threadable, which is who I want to do my print on demand. And it's a stunning color, nice print, works. The thickness of the tote is really thick it's the like 400 gsm very thick tote um smells a little bit like tuna not gonna lie to you like a tuna sweet corn sandwich that's what that smells like but obviously it's just gonna come like this whereas these characters on here basically i want to do the totes where you get a matching tote charm or keyring of one of the characters at random just to make it like really cute and like a little set so you get your little tote bag and then maybe you get the bunny um, as a little random mystery charm on your tote bag the only problem with that is there's three particular colors i want for the tote bags which i've got here so i want a pastel pink which looks white on here. But you can see how thin this fabric is. It's really sturdy, really strong, but it's very thin, um, which is kind of nice because it's like more of a shopping bag. You can fold it up really easily, uh, stuff it in another bag and have that. Um, I just don't like how thin it is. We've got a pastely blue and a lavender color as well the only issue is i can only get blue and a purple in a slightly thicker fabric and i can only get the pink in this 400 really thick fabric and i can't get the other two colors in this so i'm either gonna have to just stick to one color or have the different ones so let me know what you think about that uh, if the thinner ones in more colour range is better or if you think I should just stick to the thicker ones I will be doing these ones myself um, but they will also be more expensive so I don't know so we'll do a couple of tests and see how those come out I've just thought maybe this this was a test I did with my iron um, which made me determine I definitely need a heat press Ignore that stain, this is like an old t-shirt that I wanted to test on. Maybe the pink with the rose gold will be nicer and it will actually stand out. I think I'm definitely going to have to test that. Um, but I do love this and this is print on demand. So Cricut actually give you like this as a test um, item and they also give you this little bit to use on here. Um, I don't want a Cricut drawstring bag but I've got off cuts of some iron-ons that I tested earlier here which I'm going to use instead. Um, 
so I have something a little bit more meaningful to me. But now I've got to decide. I think I want the dog. Okay, very cute. Right, let me set the heat press up. So it came with instructions which are here. So what do I want? Set time and temperature. Power on to 90 for 30 seconds, okay? Oh, wait. 145 even. We're in Celsius for 30 seconds. This will go green and it will beep when it's ready. That's it beeped. So we're going to go five seconds. Because this came off of something else, uh, it doesn't have like a protective bit of film. So I'm just gonna pop some brown paper over it. Okay. Maybe that was a bit, you should put film on it, but it says to flip it over for 15 seconds. That's my design. It's really, um, let me show you, wrinkly. And I think that's because obviously I just haven't done it with the um, protective film or anything. Okay, that's cute. I obviously also didn't center it, um, which is great, but that was much easier than using an iron. I just brought it upstairs so you can see more about a wrinkling issue. And I think that's just due to, I didn't have the sheet on top and then I used Teflon paper, which they didn't want me to use. Um, so I just think I used the wrong heat settings for this one. Um, which is fine. It, this will just be for personal use anyway. And I will stop touching it. Oh well. Okay, so we've got the tote bag on the heat press, I've got my weeding tool, um, a brown paper bag, this which I'll weed in a second, and the heat press down here. Cool, let's do this. Go wait for it to cool down. Okay, so it's all peeled. The lighting looks so weird in here. But I think that looks so cute. The rose gold was honestly such a good idea. Let's see if I can put it down. Look at that. Lovely. This is what the purple one's looking like so far, waiting for it to cool down. So this is the blue one done, very cute. I think the white came out really well against it. Um, and then the purple one looks insane. Lovely. I'm really proud of these. I think they look really good. Um, but I am very hot from seeing my the heat press now. So let's stop. Okay, it's daytime. Um, 
I am going to show you what they came out like. So this is the blue. I think this is super cute. It is like a really like pale blue though. It looks more blue in the camera, not gonna lie, like a darker blue in the camera. It's much lighter in person. That's the blue. And the blue is quite see-through, you can see the label in there. Then we've got the pink, which I think I'll just do this one of the pink because it is, this one's really thin just because of how light the colour is. I think it does look cool, um, but I don't think I'll do any more of these. I might do these as like the thicker totes in the future, but not as these like shopper ones. And then my favourite one. The purple, oh my god. So this is lavender and honestly, this is my favourite one. Uh, I'm definitely gonna put, do more of these ones. Um, I think these look really, really nice. Um, super cute. I love the colour and I love the way the white pops on this as well. So those are the totes so far. So I think I will do two of the blue, one of the pink, two of the purple, see where we go from there but I want to do more of the purple. I can get the blue and the purple in a thicker fabric. Some lint everywhere. So once these are out, I will upgrade to the thicker fabric and have those.